If you suffer golfer's elbow, that is pain on the inside of your elbow, here's three exercises that will help. G'day, how he's going? I'm going to use a hammer here. I'm going to hold the hammer at the base of the handle, okay, mostly my first three fingers supported by the fourth and the fifth. Hold your, your arm out as full, as extended as possible, okay? And you're going to drop the hammer out roughly 30 degrees from the front. So you're not going to drop it straight down like that. You're not going to rotate it out to the side. It's going to be somewhere in between, such that by the end of the motion, your wrist is extended and you feel a pull in through here on the inside of the elbow. In other words, right where you've been feeling the pain. From here, it should look like, or well, from side on, it should look like I'm going off at the angle. Now, once you've done one rep as I have, you need to help it up because we're doing eccentric loading, okay? Eccentric loading is where gravity is assisting most of the motion and the muscles we're using is just to resist it from dropping really quickly. Okay, so you do one rep, help it up, reset, two reps, etc., until you've done three sets of 15. Once you've done that, you can move on to the push-up handle exercise. As I've said before, push-ups are good on uh, handles because it requires you to grip something, and, and as soon as you grip, you're having to utilize the very tendons that have been stressed in the first place. But because of the angle at which you're using them, you shouldn't be overly stressing them in the way that you have through your racket sport or jackhammering or rock climbing, whatever it is. When you're doing these push-ups, you can do them at an angle, elevated, as I have here on the bench. You know, if it's really, really tender, you might prefer to, to do a less challenging push-up. But depending on the severity of your, your golfer's elbow, if it's not too bad, you can, you can lower it down to the floor and do that. I've also mentioned you can do this using dumbbells. When you use something like one kilo dumbbells, it's completely inadequate because you'll see my fingers extend beyond the bells. So if I was doing this on the floor, I may as well chuck them away and do them on my fists, which defeats the whole purpose because I'm now not gripping anything. It needs to be a dumbbell that is, let's just say 10 kilos, because then it's gonna be nice and large and, and you'll have enough clearance off the ground. Once you've done that, you can then finish off with a stretch. So as I said, the issue is here. So to stretch this part of your, your forearm, find something that's like desk height and then walk up alongside it, place your hand flat on the bench or the desk, whatever. And then you want to sort of walk backwards, keeping the heel of your hand fixed on the bench. Don't sort of, as you walk backwards, allow it to lift up. You want to feel the stretch occur as you, as you lean backwards. Now, to accentuate the feeling in through this inner elbow point, you can then turn outwards. And you'll probably feel a stretch even up as high as into the bicep. But go with it and, and see how you feel. You might have to experiment with the angle at which you twist your hand. Essentially, if you, if you keep your fingers trailing parallel to the edge of the, the bench or the desk, and you spin around like this, you'll feel that, that stretch. And try to add some dynamic stretching to it by stepping forward and back and twisting, because that more closely mimics how, you, how the tendon is stressed when you play tennis or rock climbing. So it's just a gentle stretch. It should feel like a comfortable discomfort. If you wanted to do it without the aid of a bench or a desk, you can just go like so, and you would, you would twist the fingers. In the case of my right hand, you would twist them clockwise to bring that inner elbow out. In the case of my left arm, I would twist it anti-clockwise. Yeah, but this isn't as satisfying as doing it on a bench. There you go, three exercises to help with your golfer's elbow. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, thanks mate, good on you.